Um, got the motor mount figured out how we're going to make it work with the oil pan clearance. And what we essentially did was just added this little piece of scrap seal. I'd like to add a piece of line around underneath the engine mount here, and that got us the half an inch we needed. So the clearance is nice underneath. Next, we'll be going in the uh, exhaust manifolds, and we'll have to get those lined up. But first things first, we're just going to tack it into place. All right, so we got the motor pulled out, and uh, I just finished welding in these engine mounts. Um, now we're going to prep this engine bay and the firewall for paint. I'm uh, just going to do a primer and then just a single stage red. Uh, and then in the interior here, well, I'll just finish scuffing it down. We've got some metal work to do and uh, drill a few holes. Um, then that'll all be ready for paint. So just a matter of finding my kit, cleaning it up and getting it ready to go. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Drain the compressor and uh, away we go. Okay, so the Camaro's in primer. Uh, about to throw some paint down on it. Uh, we're just gonna do a red and white paint scheme. White roof, red car. Uh, actually picked up these fenders. They're pretty nice, original fenders. Though they've got some odd holes. Like it must have had some funky uh, flares on it at some point. Cause I mean, other, I couldn't see why they would have these holes, but uh, gonna do a little bit of body work to them. Very little body work. And, uh, and then we'll get them ready for paint. But right now we're actually just focusing on the uh, firewall and underneath the dash and stuff so we can get the motor in we can get started on the wiring in and then we can get a fire and drive it and then then we'll focus on the rest of the body work So this is the uh, latest marketplace score here. I picked up these headers for a hundred bucks and uh, they're in awesome shape, clean up really well. The paint on them is super light. So uh, paint comes off easy. That's the one done. Uh, I got the fender here I picked up. Just filling these holes from these flares. I don't know what in the world went on there, but uh, whatever, no big deal, putting that up. And I uh, got a patch on that front fender with a little skim of Bondo and ready to go, little cat treats. We got a little stray cat. All right, as you can see, I've got the motor back in the Camaro here. Um, I didn't film putting it in this time because, well, I kind of forgot. And also, it was just like last time we did it. We used the excavator and it went smooth. So there's nothing really to see. We didn't even scratch the freshly painted firewall. So that's a plus. Um, so the tranny's bolted in, motor's bolted in. We've got those headers on there. I picked up off Kijiji. They came out nice. They cleaned up well and they fit good. So that's a plus. Um, it's plumbed sort of that's got no fluids in it right now no coolant no tranny fluid and i'm gonna have it running out of a jerry can off there and then once we get it running we'll switch it over to the tank because the tank's cleaned out ready to go and then we should be able to drive this thing around um i rebuilt the master cylinder i rebuilt the this caliper with c's the other one's fine um so we're just gonna get it fired up here it should fire up pretty easily uh this thing i put away myself four years ago and that's in a real four years that's not Four years uh, so I remember the car where it was this thing pulled out really really nice so it should fire up just like that and we'll be on our merry way top up the fluids and get it driving out of here uh, I got to do a steering coupler first too those are real pain to find but uh, for right now I'll set the camera up and we'll get the first crank and fire here all right so we're ready to crank here um, I've been cranking it for a while so it should be pretty primed there should be fuel in the bowls um, I'll give it a few pumps here just to make sure it's got something <laughs> Yeah, it does have something. Uh, my buddy made these linkages because I lost the other ones. That's actually just mechanics wire, which is kind of funny, but it actually works. So uh, we'll see if we got power here. No, no, no power. Maybe I spun this the wrong way. Ah, classic. Okay, are we in park? Hopefully, we're off the ground anyways.
little smoky, but I think it's just going to be burning off the uh, the paint from those headers that I painted up there. So we'll do a little bit more of a break and run in here. Like I said, I got to top up the uh, tranny. That torque converter is completely bone dry, so that'll take some time. Got some work ahead of me here, but next time I turn on this camera, I think we should be able to pull it out of here. Uh, maybe some burnouts, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Wish me luck. So that's part three for the Camaro. Uh, we got it running, driving, stopping, just barely. Um, I would have taken it out for a little bit more of a rip, but the fenders are pretty loose on here and I don't want to lose any parts that I might need. Plus I should probably go through the transmission, do a little flush on that because that was unknown shape, but uh, sure runs awesome. It's got a really steep gear ratio. That's a four nine inch in the rear with 641s on it. So very steep. Uh, this spoiler here is actually from a 1970s combine. And I haven't even touched it to make anything work. Gave it a little bend, but uh, I'm going to attend to that and the rest of the body work over the next week or two here. And that'll be the next video is uh, some paint work and uh, on the track she goes. So stay tuned. Let me know what you think on how this one came out.